and welcome to the Edmund Rice Scott Talent Show. Brought to you by your presenters, Aunt Munley and Deck Kelly. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to suffer through Aunt talking us through the boring parts of today's events. Enjoy. Uh, thanks, Deck. If you can watch the entire video, um, that will display all the acts that are in the final. And then we're going to be sending out a Microsoft Forms on Schoology, and that's where you're going to vote. So you're going to vote for your winner. So sit back, enjoy, and please respect all these acts because they've shown great courage to display their talents in front of us. So I thank you for that. Obviously, we'd like to thank everyone for entering. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we couldn't have everyone in it. Um, if anyone has any issues with our lovely Magnificent Seven, I would like you to go to Mr. Kelly, not me. Okay, thank you. Um, without further ado, though, I'll introduce you the Magnificent Seven. Christy for coming in late. Kicking us off today is a multi-talented second year. This girl is representing the Higgins class and is one of two contestants to come from that class. She's going to be performing a wonderful dance which I cannot wait to see. So all I've got to say is, Marta, wreck it like Ralph! Stop, stop, stop. As you can hear from that absolutely atrocious voice, that was not the man singing in the video. That was Mr. Mundley. <laughs> Next up, we have a second year student who was very keen on hosting this competition rather than performing. And I'm sure that she would be taking my place next year after this woeful performance for myself. Playing with such unique talent, playing the harp, it's Anna Ivanova!
that absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can't say any more than that, but beautiful. Mr. Monley, come on. Stop harping on. <laughs> Next up, we have, from second year, Sasha McCabe. She lived by the motto, don't stop believing. And now she's found herself in the big finale. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train going anywhere Fantastic performance there from Sasha McCabe. It's been a long, tough journey, but hopefully at the end of tonight, she'll be jumping with glee. She's competed for Ireland. She's won Olympic medals. But now she takes on the biggest challenge of her life in Edmund Rice College's Got Talent. Here we have the magnificent dancer, 
Kira O'Brien. What a wonderful, graceful performance from Kira O'Brien. I've absolutely no doubt she'll be adding to her medal collection after that performance. It was like watching Amy King in her prime. Well, all I can say is them days are long gone. Next up, we have our sole first year contestant, which in itself is a fantastic achievement. Rumor has it that every morning in shooter class, her vocal coach, Mr. O'Hanafy, has been helping her prepare for this moment, the biggest moment in her youthful singing career. It's the one, it's the only, it's Grace Gormley. There is a in New Orleans. They go. And it's been the run of many poor boys And God, I know I'm one My mother was a tailor she sewed my new blue jeans My father was a gambling man Down in New Orleans Now Gambler needs is a suitcase and a trunk, and the only time he's satisfied is when he's on the drunk. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have told you to cover your ears for Mr. Munley's what? performance there. What? <laughs> in Grace, we had the good. And in Mr. Munley, we had the bad and the ugly. Ah. Next up, we've got the Moldovan maestro. The Blanchardstown Beethoven. It's Christy Chutak. <laughs>
Oh, phenomenal performance by Alex Cutak. It's Christy. Oh, it's Christy. Christy Cutak. <laughs> Next up, we have one of a number of third year contestants. This contestant is known throughout the school for her wonderful, amazing singing abilities. She performs a song from the famous blockbuster film called Les Miserables, and we are sure that this performance will make you anything but miserable. <laughs> Introducing the wonderful Avine O'Connor. This is On My Own from the musical Les Mis. What a fantastic performance there from Avian. Absolutely wonderful voice as we've heard throughout the school in the last three years. Fantastic. Hopefully as well after this show, Miss Fantasy can maybe teach me the right pronunciation of Les Miserables. And that brings the end to our amazing bunch of talent by the Magnificent Seven. As we mentioned before, you can vote for your winner on Schoology. So if you please do that, we'd really appreciate it. And why do you do that? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but we do have a very, very special guest performance. He sold out Crow Park. He sold out the Phoenix Park. He has hits such as... Castle on the Hill? Shape of You. Lego House? The A-Team. Yes, you guessed it. Ed Sheeran? Well, I have a confession to make. It's actually not Ed Sheeran. It's Ed Sheeran. If... He had no hair, so we like to call him Edmund Sheeran. So he can use Mr. Pryor's wig? Yeah, the one he uses to keep his youthful looks, like myself and yourself. <laughs> You were 
the one girl And you know that it's true I'm feeling younger Every time when I'm along with you We were sitting in a park car Stealing kisses in the front yard We got questions we should not have asked Oh, how would you feel If I told you I loved you It's just something that I want to do I'll be taking my time, spending my life, falling deeper in love with you. So tell me that you love me too. In the summer, when the lilacs bloom Love flows deeper than the river Every moment that I spend with you We were sat up on my best friend's roof I had both of my arms around you Watching the sunrise replace the moon Yeah, how would you feel? Oh no If I told you I loved you Oh no, no It's just something that I want to do Oh no, no, no I'll be taking my time, spending my life, falling deeper in love with you. So tell me that you love me too. Stealing kisses in the front yard We got questions we shouldn't have asked Oh, how would you feel? Oh, no, no If I told you I loved you Oh, no, 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 no It's just something that I want to do So tell me that you love me too. Oh, na 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 na. Tell me that you love me too. What a fantastic performance from the very talented Edmund Sheeran. I hope he gets back Mr. Breyer's wig. So before we go, we just need to give special thanks to the man that made this event possible. Edmund Rice College's very own Simon Kell. I think we all know who I'm talking about, don't you, Mr. Munley? Mr. Harrington? Of course it's Mr. Harrington. <laughs> so before we go, we just want to wish everyone a very, 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 very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.